Peace. Butch been here. Uh, been away from the workbench uh, for a bit. Looking pretty sparse. It's looking pretty sparse. Uh, I got a goodie box <clears throat> to show you. It's rather, it's rather a large G box, and it's from my buddy uh, Scott Catron. I think that's how I pronounce your name, Catron, 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 Catron. Scott, buddy, thank you very much. He sent me some uh, some little box of goodies here. Uh, I must say I did uh, I did peruse it, uh, so it's, they're not a surprise. I did I did I cheated. Sometimes I cheat. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I just have to cheat. So let's just get into it. Got a uh, little. Uh, let's get some light here. I need some better light. What, am I, what happened to my light? Where's my light? Oh, by the way, another quality. Pooch man. What the heck? How about <laughs> it's like that Pixar. That Pixar thing? It's jacked up. What the heck? No light went out completely. Uh, this is this is you know, I haven't done a video in, in a while. And uh, so yeah, this is gonna be jacked up. <laughs> Try to do this one handed. Come on! Go. All right. Well look, it stayed. Okay, here we go. There we go. There we go. You need to be able to pull it off. So there's a loader right there. Boom. Fire truck. I do not have that particular one. It's like an airport uh, unit. This little uh, ambulance. I don't have that one either. That is a, what is that? Is a Ford Transit? Ford Transit right there. Boom. Transit. And that little funky bug, look at that thing. Is that spring loaded jobs? Is that spring loaded? No? It's a little, uh. Oh, it's a little kitty. That's pretty cute, the little kitty. And we got a semi truck here. This one here looks like it's been, uh. on the interstate too long. It looks like it's been uh, ridden hard and put away wet. Another little uh, semi truck unit, little fire suppression device there. A uh, Pepsi truck. What brand is that? Who's, who made that? It's made in China. Ford Transit van, 1999. Who makes it? What's the brand? Golden. I don't know. Golden something. Little Pepsi truck. Oh, a little tootsie. I like my tootsies. Right there, little tootsies. And there's some kind of a uh, that Hong Chong. Yeah, Hong Chong little crane. Look at that thing, man. This little construction crane. You did, you better dupe. Too, it's automatic. The fire truck. He must know I like fire trucks. And uh, look at that one. A dope looking circus semi truck. Oh, that must be the trailer for it. Hey, beauty sweet. Yeah, I like my semi trucks and trailers. Hey, haul crap. I like the haul crap. It's all about hauling crap. All right, and then uh, the Smashbox uh, Storm Watch. We got supposedly have this big storm rolling in this evening, so uh, we might be putting that van uh, to use. And then we got some package pieces. Look at that Vega. I like the Vega. I get some. I get a lot of these Vegas because I like cutting them up. So that'll go in the cut-up pile because I have that particular one. And that one there, a Project Speeder. It's pretty sweet. I'm trying to figure out what kind of car that is. It's kind of like the back. It's like a combination of different cars. It's like a back one is a Riviera. The the I don't know. Kind of trippy though. I like it because it's like looks like a junkyard car. And then uh, the Easter egg truck. I don't think I ever got that one. That's pretty dope. It's one of my favorite truckies. East Rex. On oh, this one here, I was looking for. Uh, I think this is my second one. That Mustang High Patrol. That is dope. I like that one, buddy. Thank you. 
And then, uh, Welly. I got one of these trucks over in my boneyard over there. Over in a boneyard. A white one, I think. The dead, you're pretty sweet. I'm not sure about that logo on the side. What is that supposed to mean? A little heartbeat. Chevrolet Heartbeat of America, is that what that is? And then, uh, oh, he's a, <clears throat> he's a big Dukes of Hazard fan, Chris uh, Scott is. So, uh, yeah, I know that about him. And that's that little Tonka, little funky Tonka thing. I think it was a crane. And then, uh, oh, a Lego. A Lego uh, buggy. I love me some Lego. And, oh, it's part of the buggy. I went to the back. Like a little jet buggy or something. And, uh, dude, what are you trying to say here? You trying to say I stink? No, he's not trying to say I, st I stunk. It's not even open. I'm cracking this. I, this is my first car soap. That's my first car soap. Dude, that's bad. It's a little Zesta. Dang, that smells good. Buddy. Nobody ever sent me soap before. I did think somebody did give semi or somebody gave me deodorant one time at a job. And I'm like, what, what, what are you, what are you saying? I stink? Probably not. Whatever. And uh, a little Volkswagen Bug, Bugaboo. Is that a, a Maestro? Yeah, I can kind of spot them Maestros. Oh, here's another part of that uh, Lego buggy it fell apart. And we got a Cheerios. I got some McDonald's car. Chip. Crack it open. Little McDonald's car, number 43. Petty's number. And we got a Team Hot Wheels. What is it? What is it? I gotta crack it. Crazy. It's prop propped up. Quality production. You're the best kind of production. You never know what to expect. What is this? What is this? Mc, McPlay Power? What the heck? When you scan your Happy Meal toy. What? What is this? What? Man. What am I going to do? I read I'm not reading the instructions right now. Get it. And look. The Duke's a Hazard fan. What I tell you? And he sent me the Daisy little Daisy Duke on one side and the whole group on the other. Buddy! Now look at this. He sent me he sent me a DVD. It looks like season two. No. Season two. Title one through eight. I don't know, is it episode disc? I don't know. I guess it's a Duke's has a DVD. Open. And what is this? Duke's Hazard soundtrack. Dead for the sweet. I'll have to crack those open. And um, play them. Of course, I can't play them on my channel because if they oh, you got copyright infringement. Uh, and then they'll ban my movie. What am I doing sideways still? I don't know. And the Eagles. What is What is this? Is this like... What is this? I've never seen anything like this before. This is crazy. Man, you young kids aren't going to know what this is. This used to be this used to be the music thing back in the day, man. Look at that. We walk around with suitcases filled with these things with all of our favorite music. Eight tracks. No, it started out with uh, it was albums, then eight tracks, then cassettes, and then it went to the little miniature albums called CDs. And then he sent me a couple of emblems. Faux forty. That's gonna be a magnet. And look at that super B, man. Super B. See all the pins are missing off the back, so that'll just be a magnet. I'll just, uh, I'm gonna uh, blast that with some baking soda, touch up some paint. She be good to go. Oh, here's another part to that Lego thing. Look at this. Look, key fob. Y'all know where that's going, right? I'm putting a Kuda key on that. And then, uh, what is a little uh, handbill thing? Cooters. Hazard Nation Cooters. 
Tennessee. Indoor golf memorabilia shop. Indoor golf carts. <laughs> look, 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 golf carts even got the General Lee theme going on there. Cooters! There's Cooter himself. Oh, baby. Look at that, man. I'm too far away, though. I can't go to Cooters. Oh, it's across from Ripley's Aquarium. You put it down. Little, little ad, little promo there. And then here's a little bag of goodies here. Let me, uh, let's, let's crack this open. Mm. Oh, these are like little micro machine kind of units. Oh, dude. Look at that. Little bug. He knows I love the bugs. And that is a, what is that? Mustang? Like a Mustang. Another ambulance. Ambulance kind of thing. And that looks like a some kind of a speed unit, a little formula racer. And that is a, ah, oh, dude, an alpha. Dude, a pretty sweet. What scale is that? That's a um, Malibu. That's a um, 187th, I think. And then a little Volkswagen Beetle, Mattel Volkswagen Beetle. I think I got a couple of them. And uh, what is that, another Mustang? I think another Mustang. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it looks like an MGTC, no, yeah, sort of, pretty cool, another little bug, little bugaboo, never seen one like that, that's kind of interesting, that looks like something from an HO um, train thing layout, oh, look at that tiny little number, look at that compared to that bug, that's like one 189th scale right there what is it is it a dude i don't even know what it is back end of it looks like a pontiac bonneville or something and the front end of it looks like a poof i don't know malibu another malibu pretty sweet pretty sweet and then there's like a what is this oh, there's another little uh, there's another little piece to the um, lego unit and then we got a Dukes of Hazard, like a flyer or something. Pretty sweet. Roscoe P. Coltrane. Oh, is this another Cooters? Uh, is it the same one? Cooters! Is this a sitting? No, is it the same one? Did I just do the same one? No, it's a different kind of different one. There he is. Oh, cute. It's so cute. That's pretty nice. Ten percent off. What's the date on it? Is there a date on it? Cutors. Free admission. Cooters in Music City. Crossing the Grand Old Opry. Pretty dope. And what do we got in here? The 2015 calendar, man. He's got me all fixed up here with all kinds of stuff. 2015 calendar. Muscle Thunder. Well, this is a Chevelle. What do we got here? Oh, there it is. There's a Mopar. 73 Chaja. There you go. Oh, a Comet. Look at that. It's dope. That is dope. Oh, Chally. Look at that Chally. There's a Chevelle. Yeah, I don't like Chevelles. Oh, look at that. 71. Hemi. No, that's a 440. But it's got the shaker hood. It's got the shake of his hood. That was a, that's a rare piece. Oop. Mustangy. Bulls 442. Jeffrey Hill like that. Camara. Oh, there we go. Road Runner. GTO. Dart. Pretty wild paint scheme in that dart. I don't know if I like that. Nah, I don't care for that at all. I like the cars. I don't like the paints. A little too, a little too, a little too wild for this old man. Oh, look at that. Eliminator? Yeah, Cougar Eliminator. I'd be sweet. Now, that's a good looking Corvette. I don't like the new stuff. That is dope right there. That is dopamus. Scott, buddy, thank you so much for all the goodies. I got a box of goodies for sure. 
Uh, I don't know if this camera's gonna die or not because I have this problem uh, with this camera that it just like decides, uh, yeah, you've recorded enough, so see ya. So I, I, maybe there's a setting on there, time setting or something that I can just set it indefinitely or I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so I haven't been doing a whole lot of Hot Wheels stuff because I've just been busy with the house, the kid moving next door, uh, the my whole shop thing out there, and then of course, you know, I've got to try to earn a living, which is very difficult. Uh, so yeah, I still, I got piles of stuff to go through. I still got customs on the bench, sitting here on the bench still, buried underneath probably a foot of dust, and, um, that I have to get to. It's just too much. It's too much. The hobby just goes crazy. Some of you guys, I noticed, uh, like on some of your Facebook posts and stuff like that, that you guys are getting... You guys are going crazy, picking up stuff, and um, it, it, get, it gets overwhelming real fast. So, yeah, I, you gotta you gotta tone it down. Maybe I'll do like uh, like a collection video, like um, yeah, it shut off. I knew I was gonna shut off. I just knew it. Anyway, like a collection video, like how my collecting started, and all the different like cycles I go through, and different. Um, um, collecting styles that I've sort of transitioned uh, through over the years because of whatever whatever reason you know your hobby sort of changes it grows it develops it you're you're you know because of time constraints and money constraints and maybe you know uh, places to store stuff you know some of you guys get stuff just boxed up in the garage somewhere you know you, you want to collect and you want to display but you don't have a place currently so just everything's boxed up, and uh, it makes it difficult. And then the fun part about it is, I guess you know, you, you go through these boxes after a couple of years, and you're like, "Wow, I have this, and I have that," and, you know. And so it's like Christmas all over again. So, but yeah, the hobby changes, it evolves. Uh, you guys got man caves. You guys know that. You guys you set you set something up in the walls, and it, like it's all cool and good, and then boom, you you inherit a collection or whatever, and, and you decide to change it all around again. So it's just sort of a, you know, it's not like collecting stamps, you know, it's, it's, you evolve. I mean, if you're really into it, you evolve, you, you get into customizing and you get into um, all kinds of different things. Like, for instance, um, now my collecting style is kind of, I've got so many cars now, I'm thinking about getting rid of some of the, um, like, European stuff that I'm not really into. Um, some of the racing stuff, some of the stuff I, because I've just got so much of it. I've got, I want to display some of it, but there's just no room. So, um, some of the stuff that I'm not really that interested in, I just collected it because it was cool and it was new and it was so. And that's what makes it cool too because you can collect what you like. Um, yeah, that's it. So, I guess that's it for now. Thanks a bunch, Scott. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I could show you some of the different things I've been moving around here. Um, I've cleaned out my uh, my um, Mad Dog Off-Road Park. And basically I have just customs. Well, there's some M2. It's not really off. <laughs> I put some other stuff in there too. I noticed there's a Mustang. There's Christine. I've... So it's it's kind of not really 100% off-road park now. Just customs and like stuff, real rider stuff, M2 stuff, stuff that I really really like, and all this stuff I took out. Um, like some of the stuff I might I might I might be getting rid of. I don't know. Some of the stuff I'm gonna make just I'm just gonna rob the wheels and wheel donors. But I mean I got stuff all over the floor, I got it's just it's insane. Boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff. So but uh I've kind of been getting some M2 stuff. Really like the M2 stuff. I don't get every single one because they're so expensive. But um 
been picking up sort of oddball stuff like a 54 Dodge Coronet. You know, I don't have anything like that, so I'll grab that. That was a new uh, a new one, that 69 F-250. Pretty dope. Tow trucks. But then, yeah, all the M2 stuff I, uh, I dig. And then this is all, uh, yeah, it's all Malibu stuff from years, years back. So I do have my supply of uh, Silverados here. I like to customize these, the 67 C10. I like to customize those. Pile of stuff here. These were all uh, from a goodie box some time back. Oh, and this stuff here. <clears throat> Check this out. I found this guy in Craigslist, and uh, ah, he uh, inherited his father-in-law's collection or whatever and he's just dumping the stuff and um, I got each of these for a dollar each these are RLC cars look at this and you better believe it baby I'm gonna crack them goat Mach 1 look at that I don't even like I don't even like drag buses but that one is sweet. And this is cool. This is like a... From back in the day. That series. I forget what that was. The That's pretty cool. And then this bug. A dollar each. In a blast lane. And there was a, t there was a ton more cars uh, that I got from him. I probably bought, probably bought like probably a hundred dollars of the stuff from the guy. But that's just stuff I haven't uh, haven't cracked yet. But yeah, you know, all the stuff's on display. It's just it's just it's crazy. And then you you, you know you collect different scales. And of course, the bigger the car, the more room you need. So it just it gets overwhelming, overwhelming. Anyway, all my new subscribers, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, I want to get some stuff going, get some more videos made, and um, get back to the bench and start cutting some stuff up and, and doing some customs and having some fun. But it's just, it's just not, uh, it's not the season for it yet. So anyway, I'm going to sign off for now. You guys be good. Keep up the good work. You guys out there doing some incredible stuff uh, with the Hot Wheels. So take it easy, and we'll catch it on the flip side. So, uh,